What's going on people of YouTube? It's your boy Noob Sorry about the Universal Gamer and this is my Silent Hill Book of Memories PS Vita demo gameplay. I played about five minutes of the game and I was planning on doing my first impressions, not really first impressions, but doing my gameplay video a couple of days later. But I had to stop playing it to make a video because this game is actually good. It's like a RPG Silent Hill game. Now, with that said, already, you're already thinking, okay, this is not my cup of tea. I want an original Silent Hill game, like a good Silent Hill game on a PS Vita. That's what I was saying, too, when I first, about eight months ago, seven months ago, roughly, seen a first impressions or first gameplay of Silent Hill Book of Memories for the PS Vita. as a PS Vita exclusive. I was like, oh, I might not like this game, but I might get it anyways just because I'm a Silent Hill fan. But after playing it for five minutes and how deep this game is, not really how deep, but how rich it is with, 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 it's kind of like if you, if you had a PSP and you played Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, you didn't expect that Metal Gear Solid game to be that big with that much content and that much build around the game. That's how this game is. It has so much built around it, so much inside the menu, so much to, you know, to do and, 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 and it's, and it's good. It looks good. As you see, you're looking at the start screen right now and it looks good, you know. On a handheld system, this the screen makes the game looks good, look very good. It makes you wish it was an actual Silent Hill game, but it's a top, it's a top down, uh, not really shooter, but um, it's a top down Silent Hill game. So let's go ahead and start the game off, so I can show you the things about the game so far. So when you start, you choose like your symbol. You know, I chose the uh, the little clover. You know, at first I thought I was choosing a level, you know. Also, you choose your different class. There's only two classes unlocked inside the demo, but I guess these represent each class. And the symbol you choose from the beginning of the game actually represents your abilities. You get a certain ability that gives you, a grant you a certain ability. Change your skin tone, stuff like that. Of course, I'm black, so I'm going to use a darker skin, skin tone. You can change to a female. Um... Page two, you can change your outfit. I think I chose that last time. Hair, I chose shave. Um, hair color, hair accessories. You can wear a hat if you want to. Um, glasses, and of course, as you play the game, you will unlock stuff as you play the game. And you know. I think there's something cool on a handheld, you know, and it's something new with the Silent Hill franchise. I thought I was going to play this demo and like, okay, and be like, okay, it was it was all right. But, you know, I didn't even get that deep into the first uh, level. Also, within the levels, you have these bonus, these, uh, these uh, different little rooms you can go inside and do like a little bonus uh, gameplay where you got to destroy a certain amount of enemies, probably in a certain amount of time, and you get, you know, different stuff. You earn money and you buy stuff. The more and more you use a certain weapon, the more and more that weapon levels up. Um, you press the start menu to get into the meat of the game. Each ca character you run into or creature you run into, it, it saves inside a glossary. Everything you find, you know, get, gets, uh, lets you know, you know, I what stuff you uh, collected so far. I wasn't expecting it. I don't even know who sent it. It just arrived. So we're not going to watch this entire cutscene, but you, I'm just going to leave it on for a second. So you can you know, get to see how the graphics look a little right, bit. I'm ready. I'm coming. Voice acting, all this right. Better be important. Package for you. I don't know anybody in Silent Hill. So we're gonna skip it right there, and go ahead and get started. RPG Silent Hill game. That's exactly what it is. It's the best way I can describe it. You can carry two weapons at a time. Some weapons uh, require you to hold it in two hands. Um, you can carry a gun and a knife at the same time. You press uh, square for the left hand weapon, triangle for the right hand weapon. You can hold down one of the triggers to aim and stuff like that. There's an auto aim, you know, auto lock on. If you got multiple enemies on the screen, you can touch the screen on a certain enemy to see how much health they got left, you know, to kill them with. Um, so much stuff I done dug into the game and realize you can also hold down like a trigger or one of the buttons and you can like dodge the enemies and stuff like that. This is a page from that book. Um, the text that on the screen looks way. amazing, looks real clear. What the hell is going on? The hints, the help, the, you know, the help stuff uh, works real good. Instead of like the, the stuff keep popping up on the screen that show you, okay, 
Use your flashlight to do this. You can actually press on the screen on the icon, you know, the help icon if you actually want to know what it does. If you already know what it does, they won't tell you again. Now, the start menu. The start menu tells you everything every time you go to a different thing. So it shows my left hand weapon, my uh, right hand weapon, which I have nothing. It shows how much uh, gold I have or MR, which is the currency inside this game. It shows my charm, which uh, uh, gives me, ups my durability. Um, um, let me see. Okay, so you can have different artifacts uh, enabled and stuff like that, which give you a boost within the game. The, uh, you have different rooms that it keeps track of, like special rooms you visited already. The map shows different areas you are, you know, within the map, and it shows the different legends and stuff like that and what things mean. Weapons shows all the weapons you've acquired so far, and there's a lot of different weapons within the game, as you can see. Artifacts shows how many artifacts you collected so far notes and you know history shows how much uh how many enemies you done encountered encountered so far and then different types of, i mean different enemy types and their strength and weaknesses and stuff like that of course it's not showing anything right now because i haven't killed anything yet so let's get into the game your backpack is right here at the bottom uh right if you want to open it up you can keep it open it shows how many health packs you got how many bullets and how many uh wrenches you got i think you can repair your weapons with the wrench um, that eye right there, you can click on that. It gives you a hint on what to do in your different in your backpack and stuff like that. Your health is on the top left hand corner, the right, the top right. I think it's your uh, stamina, and uh, bottom left has you know the mini map and a puzzle piece you know that you can unlock. Get all four within the level. So turn on my flashlight. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up, let me see if I can touch the screen, oh, okay, you touched it right there. So I got that inside my uh, right hand, and I can actually, you know, I'm going I'm to dual wield these knives like I did last time when I was playing through it. So I'm going to go to this other knife, and now I got two knives in my hand. And sorry if you guys can't see, I know it's kind of dark. I don't want to cut the brightness up though because it's going to be... I like the gameplay, I like the look of the game. Um, like I said, I didn't expect to like this game this much. You know, I'm really feeling this game. After panning for like five minutes. Damn this. Okay, so now it's random because last time there wasn't even no dogs inside here. It was like two uh, nurses inside here at the fight. So this is one of those games where if you're playing it, like you gotta be playing it in order for it to be for it to look cool and, and be fun. Give me some gold. I think I'm already moving the PS Vita around already. Make sure I'm focused real good, okay? See, like these, I can search this stuff, but if I have my flashlight off, it wouldn't show up red. Is it? Well, wait, it still would let me search it, okay? When I first was playing the game, it says uh, I have to have my flashlight shining on it in order to search it. Actually, no, it didn't. It said that I can see it more better with my flashlight. If it highlights red, that means I can search it. If I got my flashlight on, my flashlight off, it won't highlight on, at all. So now I got a gun. And with the gun, I can aim the gun. And you guys can't really see that at all. I can aim the gun if I hold down the left trigger. And I can strafe around and stuff like that. And aim at wherever I want to aim at. Just use a key I just picked up. Kind of had that Zelda feel to it. You know, you got to search for items and find keys in order to get through doors. And once you get through that door, you got to find another key in order to get to another door. This little blue thing, if I uh, strike this, this brings me to the uh, challenge thing. And I got to eliminate all the enemies. So if I touch the enemy, it shows how much health she has right there at the bottom. And sorry if I'm moving the PS Vita around. Got a bad habit of that. It's kind of hard to play this game and record with the camera.
And oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention too. Your your items do deteriorate. So um, after a while, if you keep using the, the same item, it will deteri deteriorate and stuff like that. And you will have to find another item. When it shows up green right here on the screen, that means it's, it's in good health. You know, like I said, it's a full blown RPG. You know, I don't know if your character himself levels up. Let me see. Character. Okay, yeah. Player one, level one. I'm level one right now. If I go to weapons, it'll show my weapon. This wooden weapon right here is at level one because I picked it up and I was using it. Um, my gun is still at level. My knife. My knife is still at level one. My gun is still at level one. You see a little tiny notch showing that it's building up or whatever. The more and more you keep using it, the more and more uh, it builds up. Right here it shows elements and it says none. That means you can probably equip an element to your gun or something or once you level up the gun it, it allows it to have like, you know, better accuracy or something, something like that, you know. Like I said, it's a full blown RPG and I'm, I gotta, I gotta get this game. I'm feeling it. Um, let's talk about the graphics. Um, I already talked about it a little bit with the start of it, but you look way down there below where the lava is and stuff like that and the fire. It don't there's no short, shortcuts at all like it looks good the game looks good the uh, little uh, ambers that's flying around you know those look good and sharp you know there's no there's no blurriness to the game really probably if you get super close up to a texture like you know certain textures you can probably see it but the block button is a circle button and you hold down a circle button you can like move around jump around and stuff like that And I can tell the game does get hard. It may not seem like it. Reload my gun by touching the bullets down below. I don't think I would play this co-op though. Probably two player co-op at the most. But everything is perfect man with this game. The, 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 uh, the stuff on the screen is small enough. But at the same time big enough so you can see it. The mini map down below is real nice. It's kind of see through. But, you know, it's real nice. It shows the doors that you went through. It shows the doors that's locked. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just cool. Okay, so now I'm inside this room. I haven't went inside this room yet when I was playing by myself before I recorded. So, um, let's see what this is about. Got my camera pointing down. It's probably, I think my lens is, uh, getting lens drag. Okay. I think that re what does that do? I don't know what that did, but it did something. I think that's probably my save. That's how you save it, I think. Yeah, I think. I don't know. But it did something. Let's go ahead and get up out of here. It's looking blurry. Yeah, I think my my focus thing is dragging down because I got the camera pointed down. So let's go ahead and uh, get up out of here. Go back to the other room. Now what I'm hoping is that you're inside different areas throughout the game. I hope that it's not just one area. I just use the key right now. I hope it's not just one area throughout the whole game. It's another little challenge thing. And this should be the dogs. Yep. Now, it seems like now when I'm playing this game, it seems like I got a, a lot of health. Like it seems like my health doesn't go down that much. That's probably because it's a demo. Probably in a full game, it'll be actually harder. You gotta, you know, do more stuff. So I just dodged him right there a little bit. There's also a block button, which is the uh, circle button. Which it doesn't block all the damage, it blocks most of the damage. The main thing I think is cool that, they're, that, they're, that they were smart on doing is making the weapons deteriorate because that was the case. Like you'll be able to use the weapon, like just keep using the same weapon over and over and you can't store your weapons nowhere. So it's like you either take that weapon or you leave it. 
And when I first was playing it, I didn't like it. I didn't like that, but I kind of realized why they did that. The game would be too easy if that was the case. What's going on? Where am I? Looks like you found my general store. Store? I thought you were a mailman. Well, I suppose I'm about a thing. Yes. You're also the fire marshal, the mayor, the chief of police. <laughs> Not exactly. What I mean is, what's going on with this place? Where the hell am I? If I had to guess, I'd say you were dreaming. And I hope you're able to play on the streets of Silent Hill as well, so... If they, if they do that, I mean, I'm happy. Perspective, really. Perspective? Haven't you seen those monsters? They look like monsters to you. I take it you open the book then. I... Why would that matter? Well, it's a lot easier to change the past if you're separated from reality a bit. Mm. Don't you think? Whoa, hold on. I didn't change anything in that book. So, that's going to conclude my gameplay. My camera's dying on my camera anyway. I mean, my bat yeah, my battery's dying on my camera anyway, so, um... I think I was, about to, I was about to say my camera's dying on my battery. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. If you got a PS Vita, try this demo out. Um, it's not that big of a file to download. I think it's only like 100 or something megabytes or something. I don't know. Something like that. 300 megabytes. So, with that said, it's been your boy, Deep Side, about the Universal Gamer. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.